Math's biggest lie. It's a lie. It really is. I was at an event a very long time ago and a person got up and spoke in an auditorium and I'll leave it at that. And this person made a comment about mathematics. They said something like, oh, you all are math people, so you'll get it. And I remember hearing that comment and thinking, hey, wait a minute, math takes work. It's not just about having some natural ability. And that is math's biggest lie. People think that you have to be gifted, that you are born with this talent where you're naturally good at math. If you're watching this video and you're not good at math, you might agree with that. You might think, well, yeah, I'm not good at math. I don't have the talent, so I can never get better. If you're watching this video and you are good at math, you're thinking, hey, I work really, really hard. Sure, I'm pretty good at math, but I succeed because of my hard work. So which is it? The reality is some people are naturally better at certain things. Just like there are different types of intelligence, right? There are different types of intelligence in the world. Certain people are very good at public speaking. Certain people are very good at mathematics. Some people are good at teaching mathematics. Some people are good researchers. Some people are athletic. Some people are programmers. The list goes on. We all have strengths and weaknesses. But the biggest line in mathematics is that you have to be naturally gifted to succeed and to be good at it. And that's just simply not true. In a classroom of, say, 30 students, usually I would have maybe, I would say, five or less that are considered to be like, you know, these students are extremely good at mathematics. Now, did these students have some raw natural talent? Maybe some of them did, maybe some of them didn't, to different you know, levels of degree. But the point is that a lot of times these students, you know, when they would come into my class, they already knew the math, so they had stronger backgrounds. So, so keep that in mind if you're, if you're struggling and you're comparing yourself to your classmates. Sometimes your classmates have way, way better backgrounds than you've had. As a concrete example, myself, I don't talk about this too much. I think I, I made a video about this once, but you know, I, I didn't finish high school. I dropped out so I could play basketball with my friends. That was actually the reason. It was, I had pretty good friends in high school. And we played basketball, video games, Street Fighter II, Fast forward several years later, I decided to get a GED, or rather, go to college. When I, when I dropped out, I got a GED right after that. Just wanted to make sure I had something if I wasn't going to high school. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't finish high school. You definitely should finish high school. If you're watching this video, stay in school, finish. Don't do what I did. But I was able to recover. I was able to start college late, accidentally discover mathematics, and then here I am right now making this video telling you that you don't need talent. You don't. You don't. You just need the desire and you need to want it. So what can you do if you consider yourself to be naturally bad at mathematics? How can you get better? The answer is actually pretty simple. To get better at anything, you have to do that thing, right? If you want to get good at math, you have to do math. If you want to get good at basketball, you have to play basketball. If you want to become a faster runner, you have to run, and you have to try to run faster. It's simple, but it's hard, and we're all looking for secrets and shortcuts. So I'm gonna give you one, just one, that I think will completely change the way you study. And that's to create a routine where you do math every single day. Even just one problem every single day. For me, a good time to start routines is in the morning 
when your mind is fresh. The morning is the best time, I think, for me to work, right? Do math early. This is especially useful if you have a job, if you're going to school, if you have a lot of responsibilities in your life and time is tight. You can always just get up a little bit extra early and that makes a difference. You know, I've said it a bunch of times, but I'll say it again. There's this old saying in Spanish. It says, el que madruga, Dios lo ayuda. And that translates roughly to, you know, he who stays up late, God blesses him. So it basically says, you know, burn the midnight oil and things will work out. Well, I tend to burn the morning oil, right? Get up really, really early before the sun rises and start doing some mathematics. It is a... I don't know, it's a purifying experience. You wake up, you have your coffee, you sit down, you pick up a pencil, and you start doing some mathematics. And it doesn't have to be hard math. It can just be something. Just get the pencil moving. I used to have this teacher. He, he passed away many years ago. Brilliant, brilliant teacher. He would walk into class, and he would say, I anoint you, I anoint you. I, I guess it was some, some thing he would say. And I always thought it was really funny and curious. And... He passed away, unfortunately, several years ago, but I will always remember him as an amazing teacher and as an inspiration. And he always told us to get the pencil moving. And I remember when I would sit down to work on a math problem and I would get stuck, especially in the proofs. You know, you, you know the feeling, right? You're looking at a problem and you're like, I don't know what to write. I don't know what to put down. That's, that's called not understanding. That's called being stuck, right? So you can get past that feeling. That's called learning. And you can't get past it unless you write something down. So just get the pencil moving, right? Doesn't mean you're going to do it right, but it's better than just staring at the paper, right? So do it. Action is the most important thing, right? So start doing mathematics every day. And try it in the morning, that's my advice. I think that is absolutely the best time to do math. Now, having said that, really, the best time to do math is when you're motivated to do math. But we, we don't always have motivation, especially at six o'clock or five o'clock in the morning when the sun is not out and you're trying to solve an integral before going to class, right? Who does that? You, you do that. You know. Whenever I had a test, when I was a student many years ago, I would wake up really early, like four or five, and I would go over everything. I, I wouldn't solve every single math problem, you know, to prepare for the test, but I would make sure that I could do every single problem that was in the homework, that was in the notes, that was in, on any quiz, anything that the teacher hinted at that could possibly be on the exam I would make sure to go over that. But I wouldn't burn myself out. And here's the funny part. I get to class, right? And then I would basically sit there and stare at my notes. And all around me, you know, what happens on test day? Chitter chatter, right? People are nervous. There's so much nervous energy in the room. But you gotta block that out, right? Because the only thing that matters is you succeeding on that test. And so I would block that out and I would sit there with my, with my notes and just stare at them and just look them over. I remember my friend Jason one time, he looked at me and he said, does that really help, man? And I go, oh, I think so. And it certainly did. It certainly did. Start believing in yourself and stop thinking that you have to be gifted. I am not super smart. I would say that about average intelligence, maybe slightly above when it comes to math. I'm, I'm pretty good at math, right? But I'm not, I'm not like amazing. I'm not like a math guru. I mean, I'm the math sorcerer. Sure, I love math, but there are people that are way better than me, right? There are people that are so much more gifted than I am, right? Look at, look at these famous mathematicians, right? These people have raw talent and they work hard. They're, they're unstoppable, but they still have to work hard. So don't think that just because you're good at math naturally, doesn't mean you have to work hard. And that's kind of one of the things that I kind of appreciated about mathematics. Um, you know, because at some point, you, 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 you get to math classes where you really struggle. And, and I've gotten there in physics and in math. And you, you start to question your abilities. And then you, you look around you 
you know, at your peers and you say, are they struggling? And, and the worst feeling is, is if you're in a class and you're struggling and everyone else is doing well, that's when you start to think like, hey, hey, what's going on? Now that, that happened to me in physics. Now, not everyone was doing well, but a lot of people were doing well and I wasn't doing well. So what did I do? I just studied harder. Did it help? Yeah, I guess. I got B's in physics one and two and an A in physics three, but you know, I felt like other people didn't work as hard. And sometimes that's just how it is, right? Some people are naturally better and they don't have to work as hard. Life is not fair, it's not. But what you can control is your ability to work hard. So keep that in mind. If, if you're not gifted, just know that you can do it. Lots of people do it. I've seen people rise from the ashes, people who apparently, it seems like they can't do any math and they miraculously come back. How? Through dedication and perseverance. Anyway, it's kind of a random video, but it is math's biggest lie, right? That you have to be gifted to be good at it, right? And it's just, it's just not true. It's just not true. And even if you are gifted, you still have to work hard. That's the common theme for everyone in the world, right? Who studies math. It's hard for everyone. Everyone has to work hard. Even the people that are extremely good at math, they still have to work hard. I mean, you think, you think Perelman didn't work hard? <laughs> that guy's a genius. You don't think Terrence Tao works hard? These people, they work like crazy. You have to because mathematics is hard. And that's the key takeaway from this video is that you shouldn't feel like you can't do it because you don't have ability. Because every human being on this planet struggles to learn mathematics. If you wanna learn mathematics, I do have courses. They are on the Udemy platform, which is a reputable place to have courses. But if you get my courses, please use the links either from the description of this video or from my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathvids.com. The reason is one, it helps me greatly, and two, I have lowered the prices to the bare minimum. So when you click those links, you should get a low price every time. Keep doing mathematics, believe in yourself. Hey, if I can do it, you can do it. Go do some math.